This painting is called My November Guest. Uh, that's the title of a Robert Frost poem that is about um, uh, nature challenging him to see the beauty in these gray winter days when everything is just brown and cold and wet like it is in uh, Berlin after all the beautiful uh, autumn leaves fall and everything turns brown uh, and it's dark. It's really dark in Berlin in the winter. Uh, I was looking at winter and um, trying to see some beauty in it and I did this whole series of abstract watercolors and they've proven to be quite successful. In fact, I refuse to sell this one because I really like it. But I guess when you your heart's in something, other people know it because when they look at it, they always seem to want this painting. Bill was going through radiation. I did these four drawings of him, and this is just the one that happens to be framed. So um, I knew that, I mean, I've never had cancer. I couldn't say I know what you're going through. I didn't. But I could say I can see what's happening to you. So before he saw the paintings, um, he was being really cheerful, right, for my sake. So he saw these four drawings and he said, I didn't think you knew I was depressed. And I said, and my jaw dropped like yours. And I said, how could I not know? So that led to a more honest uh, discussion about what he was going through. The reason that it looks this way is I've had to do some major redrawing and adjusting. So when I'm done with the, this side, it will look more like this. Uh, there is a lot of, um, these two boys, uh, this is Seth and Ian, they were the sons of this graphic artist I went out with for about five years uh, and decided that <coughs> even though he's a nice man, we weren't meant to be long term. So I really loved his boys and then these are the um, nephews of another friend of mine. He's actually in one of the photos. So they were in this barn and I thought, man, this light is beautiful. This is in New Mexico. So I had wanted to do this series of portraits of children when they're just on this precipice. I mean, they're almost at puberty, but they're not quite there. And because I think before all those hormones come rushing through, I mean, some people say it's innocence. Well, I guess so, but I think they exactly they know a lot. They know who they are. They think they know more than everybody else too, of course. But you know, it's not. They're not so put off balance or made insecure by all these changes, you know, that come with puberty. So uh, anyway, um, and Seth and Ian are, I just love them. Uh, they were the closest they'll ever come to having children, I think. I'm working on the flesh tones here. And you actually, one of her eyes is bluer and one kind of hazel because uh, she had a, um, a cataract operation that didn't go well. But this uh, was actually, um, the boa and the mass were um, presents to me from her friend for you had gone to New Orleans. And my mother, I think she's kind of a drama queen and she wants life to be big. And So I didn't say anything to her about it. I just said, Mom, get up here on the stand and put this bow on and hold this mask. And, you know, the first day she was in pain, so she was looking really sad. And I said, Mom, we're not going to do this sad creature. I said, let's take some pain medicine and relax and we'll do this the next day. Yeah. So, so anyway, she says, you know, if you make, she was a, um, the relationship between the artist and the person posing, there's a lot more to it than I thought at first. It's a matter of trust. There's a big, and it is really a, a partnership.